Transport Bureau, led by former Comptroller Auditor General uh, Vinod Rai, has been recast. The four-member body was formed in 2016 to improve the performance of public sector banks. Now the new chairman will be Mr. Bhanu Pratap Sharma. He was a former secretary at the Department of Personnel and Training. The three other members in the committee will be Vedika Bhandarkar, who was former executive at uh, Credit Suisse, an investment bank actually, Pradeep Kumar, a former managing director, retired managing director at State Bank of India, and Mr. Pradeep Shah, the founder and managing director, uh, of, the founder managing director of uh, credit trading agency Crystal. I mean, that's not the only way to uh, introduce him. He was also, in a sense, uh, the moving spirit behind HDFC in its earliest days, and now, of course, uh, uh, runs a private equity fund, Indocean. Uh, Mr. Shah, thank you very much for joining us. I believe we informed you that you have been selected to the board. You didn't get an official communication? Well, I, I guess uh, I've not looked at my email, but okay. yes, I didn't see any email till I last looked at it. All right. So I guess uh, we've got uh, information now from other sources and okay. I've been appointed also. All right. Congratulations yeah. anyway, sir. What would your first thoughts be? What do the public sector banks need? Well, I think the government is very serious of, uh, of about uh, improving the performance of the public sector banks. Uh, they're putting in capital, and uh, they put in the bank board bureau and now recast it uh, with the idea of improving, uh, as it were, the governance and management of the, mm. the bureau and so uh, of the of the bank. Mm. So I guess uh, it's uh, part of this whole program that government is engaged in, and I hope uh, one can contribute in that process. Uh, well, you are associated one of the most sterling banks, uh, HDFC Bank. Uh, which, of course, uh, um, uh, was founded uh, by HDFC itself, which you were uh, associated with. Uh, what would you borrow in terms of uh, governance rules from uh, a bank like HDFC Bank? Well, uh, you know, as every organization realizes, uh, people make all the difference. And so having good people on board, giving them sufficient uh, tenure to uh, tenure yes. to uh, to make changes or uh, to improve things and uh, also bring about change in culture makes uh, humongous, uh, uh, has humongous results on outcomes. So I'm hoping that uh, that's what will happen with the public sector banks. Uh, there are brilliant people in the public sector banks and uh, now uh, the attempt has to be to get them to perform uh, and then and give the results that uh, and then avoid the results that we've seen in some of the uh, public sector banks and with the results that we've seen. Uh, when you say longevity of tenure, uh, what do you have in mind? Do you think five years is a good tenure? After all, HDFC Bank has had uh, someone at the helm for over 25 years. Uh, the other two, other several public sector banks have had uh, uh, managing directors who have held uh, at the helm for at least 10 years. What's an ideal to begin with for the public sector banks? Well, in general, uh, uh, the, the CEO's tenures, tenure should be at least uh, covering a cycle of, of lending and recovering back. Uh, otherwise, too short a tenure does not uh, do justice to that person nor to the bank. So I think uh, I would prefer five years is, of course, uh, 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 better than uh, the two years and three years that mm -hmm. we have seen in the past. But if it is a little longer period or so, there is no harm. Mm. Now, that uh, requires uh, certain changes, and I'm sure our chairman, uh, Mr. Sharma, will uh, uh, be, be discussing this uh, and then, then thinking about it, and we'll have, uh, I guess, an opportunity to possibly mm. contribute to that area. Okay. Uh, Mr. Shah, your congratulations, firstly. Um, you are also coming on board at a time where we are facing NPA headwinds like never before. In your sense, uh, do you think that maybe FI19 could be a year where we could probably hit the bottom of the barrel and then rise up when it comes to NPAs? Well, it seems so. I think uh, the Reserve Bank policies have uncorked the scale of the problem. Mm. And uh, with the NCLT uh, and the IPP, uh, the Insolvency and Bankruptcy Board process, process is already uh, being implemented. Mm. Uh, everyone is uh, working towards resolving this uh, NPA problem. So I guess 2019-2020, um, we will see continued resolution. Mm. And certainly, I think uh, in the next two years, we will see the end of the uh, of the uh, scale of the problem, and then the recovery starts. Mm. Okay. Oh, you know, the, probably what has been lacking in the ba uh, public sector banks so far are independent uh, directors. Uh, you have government-nominated directors and 
government is a shareholder nominated director uh, would you press for some kind of independent directors uh, uh, would that require the law to be rewritten no there is already room for there is already provision for independent directors under the listed uh, for the listed banks so that is already in place i think uh, um, I don't know what uh, the bank board bureau will finally decide. I'm just one member, mm -hmm. but tenure and getting the right people into the banks, uh, that means selecting them uh, appropriately, will make some difference to the banks. And then giving them enough tenure will help change the culture in the bank. Mm -hmm. I think that culture to be towards efficiency, towards recovery, towards uh, serving uh, their their constituents, whether it's mm -hmm. depositors or lenders. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, in a way that uh, addresses everyone, not just uh, yeah. giving away money to lenders and not recovering it back. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, sir. Actually, we've just uh, uh, flashing a tweet from uh, the banking secretary, the DFS, Department of Financial Services, uh, Rajiv Kumar, and that tweet will come up for you again, uh, saying that HR is what uh, they, I, I mean, I, I'll just, I can just read it, read it out to you, sir. Government renews commitment to not interfere in senior level appointments in PSBs, appoints new BVB with professionals with diverse expertise. Uh, the aim uh, is uh, to select top management in PSBs. The BVB recommendations made so far include HR reforms agenda to be taken forward. Uh, HR reforms is something which even public sector bankers whom I have spoken to, in fact, a former chairman of SBI deeply regretted that his bright young uh, uh, bankers uh, are refusing to be in the credit committee these days. They want to do anything but credit given the uh, atmosphere of suspicion. Your thoughts on this, sir? Uh, HR seems to be uh, exactly the mandate that you will be given. Well, I, I, I will, of course, have to, as I said, uh, wait for our chairman uh, to convene a meeting and then uh, learn uh, about, uh, finally, what uh, the BBD will do. Mm. But certainly, getting the right people in, yeah. having uh, the right culture in the bank, will result in better outcomes. Mm. And I'm hoping that that will happen in the public sector banks, too. Mm. Okay, this is not a part of the BBB's agenda, I think, but... Uh, uh, would you say that bringing the government stake down below 50 would help? It will keep it outside so many government bureaucracies in terms of recruitment. I mean, you don't have to have a national exam, but if it is above 51, you have to do that. Uh, would that be something, I mean, even if you were not a BBB member, do you think that's what is needed, privatization in the sense of bringing down government stake? No, the privatization can help, but it's not necessarily the only solution. Mm. We have seen public sector organizations such as the oil marketing companies mm. doing a wonderful job. In India, for instance, we've never had shortage of uh, oil uh, at the pumps, unlike mm. even, for instance, China, with all its uh, GDP far greater than India's and per capita income far greater than India. They've had these kinds of problems. Mm. So we must uh, recognize that public sector doesn't mean necessarily only inefficiency. Mm. It also means uh, efficiency when uh, the system is right. And I okay. think that's what the attempt of the government seems to be. Okay. That putting money into the bank, have this IBBI and the insolvency laws and so on in place, enable the banks to perform as they should, and now put in good people also so that the banks move faster, the public sector banks move faster towards that goal. Okay. Well, uh, I'm sure you'll be bringing your valuable uh, uh, advice and experience to the Bank Board Bureau. Thank you very much, Mr. Pradeep Shah, for joining us. Uh, the person we have just thanked is a person who has put in place three sterling institutions. Res the moving spirit behind HDFC, mm -hmm. and then he created the HDFC Bank uh, naturally, as well the man who uh, created Crystal. Mm -hmm. So uh, a person who perhaps is uh, very well placed to, to say what works in the financial sector in India. And of course, uh, Vedika Bhandarkar, Pradeep Kumar, uh, bringing in diverse private sector and public sector experience. And Mr. B.P. Sharma, the HR experience, which apparently is what uh, the Bank Board Bureau's mandate is going to be. Uh, 